Hello and welcome back to Ra Ra's Adventures and today we are doing an interview with Elizabeth Lake. Hi. Hello. Hello everyone. Um, before we start I just want to say if you haven't already and you'd like to help support Ra Ra's Adventures go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Welcome and uh, don't, don't feel nervous, be all relaxed, it'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. So, what conditions do you have? Right, so I have rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. Um, that got diagnosed about six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I have a bladder problem, which mm -hmm. I have to take medication for. Um, alcoholism. Yeah. In recovery. Um, I've got a hiatus hernia. And I'm asthmatic. And I've got the starts of brittle bone. Excellent! I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, greedy. <laughs> I'm what? I'm greedy. You are greedy. Yeah. yeah you're trying to catch up with me. Yeah. <laughs> you might even beat me actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, when was your condition or conditions first diagnosed? Right, the, the rheumatoid, that was the first diagnosed when um, I came into recovery. Uh, okay. for the first time, um, uh, that would have been so about six years ago and I stopped drinking for three years and that's when after the first sort of six months I got diagnosed with rheumatoid um, and I was put on medication for it Yeah. and slowly um, I was able to walk again because it got to the point I was in a mobility scooter, um, a frame, full of, you know, a chair that sort of tips you out yeah. With a frame, uh, I just couldn't walk, couldn't get to the toilet. It really it was just, affected it your was, uh, It was horrendous, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was really bad. And I stayed, you know, I stayed off the alcohol and things were looking up, but then I relapsed. Right. And, and then, um, so obviously every time I relapse, I can't take the medication ah. for the rheumatoid. Yeah. Um, so then I went into recovery again just over two years ago. And um, yeah, things have been a lot better. Okay. Yeah. So, how does your condition or conditions affect you mentally and physically? Right. When I so when I first got diagnosed with the rheumatoid, um, it got to the point that I've got to be honest. I didn't care if I lived or died. Right. It got to that. Um, oh, your mental health was really absolutely terrible. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know and. Um, the, you know, I stopped drinking and I kept thinking, my goodness, I've stopped drinking for this, you know, because my life was even worse than when I was drinking, you know, yeah. it was just horrendous. Yeah. Um, I used to go to a support group, this is when I was yeah. still drinking. Yeah. Um, is this first time or? This, when I stopped drinking for the first break. time. Right. So I used to go to a support group, I used to go to Pepperfield House for mental health. Yeah. I used to go to Mind. Yeah. For mental health. Um, and obviously um, uh, another agency for alcohol, which was actually CGL at okay. that time. Um, and, and you know, like I say, slowly things started picking up again, mm -hmm. but it took time. You know, yeah. the mental health, it, that really took time, yeah. a long time. Would you say the mental health was harder than the stopping drinking or same or similar? Um, it was hard, yeah. Yeah, the mental health and, and the physical health was yeah. harder. Yeah. The, you know, I've always said the easy bit is to stop drinking. You yeah. know, it's not easy when, when you're in that. And, no. You know, but actually putting that drink down uh, yeah. with the support, I found that easier than um, the other stuff. You know, and but because nothing changed, that was always my go back to. You know, go it's back to kind of safe place, I guess, in a way. With the alcohol, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And kind of numbs it. It numbs it. Um, you know, I wasn't used to feelings. You know, no. I didn't. I wasn't really used to happy feelings, sad feelings, hurt feelings, anything. No. You know, without a drink. You yeah. know, so everything was. I, I would drink on it all yeah. the time. You know, and, and, you. and now, you know, like back then. I couldn't do that anymore. No. Um, until you know, three days, the three years later, I did. Yeah. You know, because nothing changed. No. Oh. Yeah. So, how does or did it affect your relationships? 
I lost most of my family members. Yeah. Um, you know, my sisters, um, my, my daughter, um, most of my grandchildren. Yeah. I, I lost, yeah, most of my family members at the time. Yeah. Uh, my nieces, um, you know, they didn't, people just didn't want to watch me do be like that anymore. Yeah. You know, my sons, they stayed sort of close. Um, yeah. So that they did stay closer. But I didn't really care anymore, you know, Going until one day, that. yeah, until one day I did care. Yeah. You know, and, and when I did care, then things started to slowly come back. Yeah. But it took time. Took yeah. a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Mm -hmm. What support have you found? I groups, social networking. Right. So um, I'm going to move. If I move on now from the, from after yeah. the three years, I'll move on. So the mental health got better. Uh, yeah. Um, and then I relapsed again. But then, like I say, over just over two years ago, I came back in. And I went back to CGL. Um, yeah. Mental health wasn't as bad, but it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, but then I joined Alcoholics Anonymous. Okay. And that is where I really got support. Um, so that's where you found your true absolutely help. Yeah. Yeah. And so you go through like a step program. Yeah. And doing that, um, you know, I always thought I was a victim in everything. Right. But when I went through those steps, um, I played my part. You know, yeah. absolutely, and you know, you make amends to people that you've harmed, and yeah. I, I did that. Yeah. And you know, my life has just improved so much more since, since all of that. You yeah. know, and yeah, I, I wouldn't want to change it. I'm very grateful. Yeah. yeah. So this this step program helped you better than the other programs that you previously. It did for me because yeah. I'm alcoholic. So yeah. it did for me. Absolutely. But I guess different people might. Be yeah. different. I mean, you know, with the rheumatoid, obviously that's a different sort of support. I mean, that's with the yeah. rheumatology yeah. and things like that. Uh, the medication, you know, mm -hmm. they keep a close eye on me with the medication. Yeah. Um, I have to have bloods done a monthly. Yeah. Um, so all of that, that is different again. Yeah. But my main problem um, is the alcohol. Yeah. You know, and as long as I stay away from that so first drink. Is it okay to ask, did the alcohol sort of start up some of the other conditions or? Yeah, I asked the consultant at the time when I got diagnosed with the rheumatoid yeah. and um, yeah, the alcohol, you know, because it was a year, years and years of abuse. Right. Um, and yeah, that was one that of the was... things that came out of it, you know, so yeah, I got yeah. I got that because of alcohol. And the bladder? The bladder, time? childbirth, Okay. mainly yeah. childbirth. Um, and there's, there's two things that I've got wrong with the bladder. Um, and I can't actually tell you what, because I can't actually, I know it's a prolapse wound. Yeah. And there's another thing as well. <coughs> um, there's nothing they can actually do for me. Um, you know, they, there's that operation to put a netting in, but they've yeah. already said it probably wouldn't work. Yeah. So I'm on medication for it. It helps a little bit, mm. but it's not great. So no. I've got a key for the, Toilets. The radar key? I've got the radar yeah, key. We've done, yeah, we've done a post about yeah. that one. I've got that, and yeah. that's that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, and I just have to be careful where I park my car, you know, because... Yeah. Um, do you I, have a disabled badge as well? Does no, I don't. You do not? No, because they haven't put me on high enough. Um, they've only put me on middle rate for PIP. Right. And um, you have to be on high rate to get the disabled badge. I used to have the disabled badge. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when I couldn't walk from the yeah, when I couldn't walk for the rheumatoid and everything, yeah. I got the disabled badge. Yeah. But as my health started to improve, yeah. so I could walk, they put me on the middle rate. Okay. Um, I've reapplied, and they're still saying that um, no, it's still middle rate. That my main problem for disabled would be for the bladder, you know, because that is a major okay. problem. Yeah. You know, for me, that is major. Um, have you looked into the bladder cards you can get? No. No. <laughs> no. She hasn't looked into it. I've done a post no. on that. No. I'm going yeah. to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 they are really good. They've saved my life quite a few times. Right. Literally, so you that. can go in to pretty much any restaurant, cafe. You don't have to buy a drink. You show the card, it's to buy a drink. 
you show the card it's just straight at uh, this discreet discreet yeah. and um the, the, it just says that you have a bladder or bowel problem yeah and you can just quickly nip in there and oh, sort yourself oh, out definitely get one then. Yeah, yeah they're very very good yeah. and i've used it many of the time right i'll yeah. definitely get one very good yeah what are your managing tips for other people like yourself right so um for the alcoholism side yeah um for me and i would highly recommend it is if you have an alcohol problem um definitely alcohol it's anonymous you know i've done it many a time without and i've always always gone back to the drink yeah. and this time i know i don't need to you know so that is one of the biggest things and that also helps with my mental health yeah because there's other people in there that understand they understand my thinking because my thinking is yeah. a little bit weird um, and they, they understand that you know yeah. and they talk to me in such a way that explains why i'm thinking in the way i do yeah you know so that is my biggest support and we'll leave links for that in the description down below yeah do's and don'ts for people who don't know or understand your condition or conditions yeah so you can go through these steps okay. like separately yeah yeah okay like what? so <laughs> so decent dates um so alcoholism say don't offer me a drink or, um you know yeah i mean certainly of. in the early days um avoid certainly avoid pubs um yeah. avoid going to parties and things like that anywhere you think there's going to be alcohol avoid it yeah. you know until you're strong enough to be able to cope with that yeah. And also, always have, um, I, I, I always go in my own car, I mean I know not everybody drives, but I go in my own car, so then if I need to get away, you can. I can, yeah. because if the pressure is getting a little bit too much for me, yeah. I can... Know your own boundaries. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. so definitely that. Yeah. Um, I don't really have alcohol in my house, no. you know, um, at all. Um, obviously, if I'm doing a barbecue, if somebody wants to bring a drink, that's fine. Yeah. Take it away with them. Don't, yeah. don't leave it in my house. Don't leave temptation yeah. like this. It's just not worth yeah. it. You no, know? No. I'm not saying I would yeah. pick it up, but I'm not going to risk it. No. You know, you have to have your safe place for that. Um, regarding the rheumatoid, yeah. um, take your medication because I'm a sod. I, I am a sod. You are only naughty people like I'm me. Very, I'm very, very naughty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got into a better routine now. Yeah. But, you know, when it comes to my recovery, whether it be through the other illnesses or alcoholism, I'm lazy yeah. until it hurts me enough. Then I and start. Then you think, then oh, I think oh, medication. Yeah, medication yeah. or whatever. It so, might how be. did you get yourself into your routine to be able to? Pain, just pain. Pain. Yeah. Every time I stopped, like with the alcoholism, every time I stopped going to my meetings or stopped doing the work that I needed to do, things would start going slowly wrong, and yeah. and then I'd get hurt again in my head or whatever. Yeah. And then I think, oh, I know I'm doing it again, you know. Yeah. So step up, do what I've got to do. If I get in pain with my joints, yeah. I think now have I been taking my medication properly? The yeah. answer is probably no. Mm -hmm. So I know. So have you put um, anything in place, like, for me, I have to set alarms, I have to set an alarm to redo my medication, or else, like you, I won't do it, and I'll forget, then I'm in pain. It's like that vicious circle. It is that have vicious circle, anything? and I've got to be perfectly honest with you, the answer is no. Okay, so um, how do you... What I should do, I really should. <laughs> <laughs> what she should do. <laughs> I, I really should mm. do exactly what you've just said. Set up okay. okay. and make sure my pill boxes are always topped up. Yeah. That one I am starting to do. Yeah, so uh, like you, I didn't. I used to forget, it'd be like two or three days. Now, yeah. every Sunday, I have an alarm. So you're going to a routine. And every Sunday I know, right, I've taken my medication, now I've got to refill it. Then I also go through to make sure I've got enough for the following week. Yeah. If not, I pre-order it. Yeah. And I've had to do that because mentally when I go down, 
like you, I like don't care. Yeah. Um, yeah. they're not really medications that I can skip. No. But it's dangerous. Exactly that. Yeah. So hence all the alarms on the phone yeah. going and, and you know, I think I think anybody that is going through any sort of illness of any description, mm. it it all takes time. Absolutely. Actually, you know, yeah. to know that you if you don't do this stuff you're going to pay for it. You are. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You learn, yeah. you learn the hard way. You do. Yeah. And, you know, and I've always said, you learn through pain. Yeah. And, you, you know, and yeah, if you can try and avoid that pain in the first place, it'd be great. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. don't learn though, do we? <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your personal advice for people who have or think they may have your condition or they think they might know someone uh, or they think they may know someone who has the condition okay um, if if we're talking about alcoholism yeah if somebody thinks they have a problem mm -hmm. um, not everybody wants to go uh, straight to AA I which is understandable because it's you know it's scary to admit yeah. it um, you know I would advise that if somebody thinks they may have a problem, try not drinking just for a couple of days, a few days. If you can't do it, you've probably got a problem. Yeah. You know? Good um, and and then go to your doctor or go to an outside agency yeah. and start getting the ball in, you know, ball rolling. Yeah. And you know, if anybody wants I mean if anybody in that situation, if they want more support, they can always contact you and but you know, and I'm happy to take anybody to a meeting or anything and be there for them if they okay. if they want that. Yeah. You know, and um, I, I mean, I can only say for me, you know, AA has it saved my life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it really has. And what about people who think they might know someone struggling? It's very or... difficult um, because unless that person is willing to accept that they have a problem. You can't do somebody else's recovery for them. No. Um, so it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, you can also, you know, other people can go to. Um, uh, it's another. Oh, what's the name again? It's not um, AA. It's another one. I think it's NA actually. Um, and it's for relatives. Okay. Um, and they can go to that, and so it's relatives of um, alcoholics. Okay. So it's, it's so that's. So say so like um, they they live with an alcoholic, yeah, and they won't get the help. They can go to that to get support. To they could try, yeah. Well, yeah, they, or they can get support as in how to deal with it. Okay, because it's more managing techniques. Yeah, because yeah. I, I know with my family members, they could they just couldn't watch me anymore. Yeah, and if I'd known about these other groups, I could have maybe suggested, you know, yeah. to to. So some people can find out more about alcoholism yeah. because a lot of people do not understand. They think, you know, just put the drink down. Yeah, you don't, don't need it, just put it down, you know. And it, yeah. it's not like that, no. you know. Um, I mean, I was, I was asked before, you know, don't you love your children enough to stop drinking? Absolutely, I adore my children. Yeah. Could I stop drinking? No, no, I just couldn't, you know. And it was always like that, yeah. you know. So it's, it, it's a very difficult one. I mean, they can certainly approach it to yeah. family members or whoever they think could yeah. have a problem. And if that person wants to, you know, they have to accept it themselves. Yeah. And, you know, most people have to reach their rock bottom before, be able to, yeah. before they um, want to yeah. get their help. What about in regards to the rheumatoid and... The rheumatoid, uh, well, with the rheumatoid, um, so I started going to the doctors because it, it just started, I got pains in my hand and in my feet. It was just different random pains. Yeah. So what the doctor was doing was sending me off to a different specialist for different parts of my body. Okay. Um, because they didn't know it was rheumatoid. And yeah. eventually, because it just kept on happening, and eventually they um, sent me to the rheumatology. Right. And that's where I, I, I had the bloods, got diagnosed yeah. and everything like that. And you know, again, that was a, a good that was a good thing for me. It took a little while for the medication yeah. to actually kick in properly. So and if a relative thought of, you know, they're really not coping, 
best to get them to doctors really. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because quite often the mental health could be pretty low as well. Yeah. You know, because if you're in pain. It knocks you down. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So you get to a point you don't want to do anything anyway. Yeah. You know, so and same really with cars to the bladder I guess, isn't it? It's exactly the same. Yeah. You know, you get to a point you're scared to go out. Yeah, you know, yep. you just we don't know if you're going to make it back in the doors. Yeah, you know, many a times, but trust me, many a times I haven't made it back in. Yeah, they think, oh no, yeah. here we go. <laughs> um, yeah. you know, so yeah, again, it's with that one, it's a matter of trying to always be quite close yeah. to somewhere. Yeah, and it's not always planning possible. your journey. Yeah, in some respects. it's, it's yeah. quite hard. Yeah, yeah, you know, Definitely. pads and stuff like that. And think, oh. oh yeah. They're a pain as well. Uh, expensive oh, as well. Yeah, not cheap. Be, we should have to pay for them. No, pay. no. <laughs> medical condition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what would help you more to manage your condition or conditions better? Diet. Diet. Mm. Okay. Yep. Diet. Um, if I didn't eat, see, I get addicted to a lot of things. Right. It's not just alcohol. No. Be ice cream. Um, yes, I'm not meant to be a for ice cream. I am a sod for ice <laughs> cream, yeah. Um, and I did give up ice cream for a little while. And your mum said to me, How are you managing? I said, I just eat lots of chocolate instead. Oh, you swapped it from one to the other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if I could, um, the rheumatology, the they've already said that I need to lay off caffeine. Oh, really? Because mm, that's quite a bad thing for They me. say that about bladder too. But absolutely, yes I do. I yes. love my tea. <laughs> yes, and I love my coffee. Yes. And I did. I was doing really well, I did go on to decaf, and then I ran out of decaf, it went straight back onto normal. Oh, so okay. I'm, I'm not very good at that, but if right. I could, so that that would be something that would help. Yeah. Um, and avoiding a lot of dairy stuff, that would help. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's all stuff that would really help. Okay. So, lesson to self. <laughs> um, watch what you're eating. Yeah. And drinking. Absolutely. Um, so, nothing else would help manage your condition any better? Not really. Um, no. no, not really. I mean, I have to have um, I have to make have regular bloods done anyway. Yeah. So they keep them up because with rheumatoid, that also attacks the organs. Okay. So that's why I have to have the blood done. Yeah. And you know, it's just a matter of keeping, you know, doing the medication, yeah. taking that. And yeah, I think I could do more to help myself. Yeah. Um, like if I say with diet and stuff like that. Yeah. But at the moment, it's pretty well under control. That's really good. At the good moment, news, yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start the gym, mm -hmm. swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hate swimming, but. She's going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it because apparently it's good for me. Yeah. So I'm going to do that because I also know, you know, as soon as I gain an extra bit of weight, mm. that puts more pressure on, on my joints. joints. Yeah. 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 So that would help as well. Next question. What would you like to see happen in the coming years for more support and help relating to your condition? Ooh, or conditions? Um, That one. Um, so better support groups, more tools to help you. Yeah, I mean, you see, I found I found my happy place now. Yeah. So, but at the very beginning, there wasn't really much out there at the beginning, like mental health. I, yeah. I think they need to do a lot more on mental health. Yeah, I, I, could I agree really do. That, yeah. Um, the other medical things, uh, maybe the bladder, that would be nice if they could help a bit more with that. Yeah. You know, because I think that's a big problem. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, alcoholism um, and obviously drug, drug abuse, anything like that, yeah. there isn't enough um, uh, centres anymore because they're just closing. Is, is that because of COVID or is it no, just all around? That's all around. Yeah. That's because they keep shutting all, you know, they're shutting down the. Um, the mental um, hospitals, right. they're, they're shutting down the um, addiction rehabs, yeah. they're, they're just closing down all the time. When they should and they are needing, opening more well. Absolutely, yeah. 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 So I think they are trying to do more mental health, Yeah. Um, I still don't think there's enough, 
but they are trying to do more on it. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, addiction and mental health definitely go hand in hand. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, I think they they could do more on that. Definitely. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. How does your condition or conditions make you feel about yourself? So if I'm limping, because yeah. I do that quite often, um, or anything like that, or um, having the bladder further bladder problems, yeah, yeah it makes me feel very. Um, I hate myself. Yeah. Different times. Yeah, absolutely. Do. It makes me feel like um, I'm aging before my time. Yeah. You know, and um, sometimes you sort of think. Oh, because my parents died quite young, and sometimes I think oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it to their age anyway. Right. You know, and I don't really want to think like that. No. Because you know, but I don't mentally. Know. Yeah. The state you're in. Yeah. yeah. So that can happen absolutely yeah. when I feel low. Yeah. Um, but my life at the moment is is okay. Yeah. You know, you're on a level. I am at the moment. Yeah, and, and you know, a lot of it's because I've now got my grandson. Um, you know, which I couldn't have done that before. You know, no. before um, with the rheumatology, with mm -hmm. alcoholism, I could never have given my grandson a home. Right. You know, and I've been able to do that. Yeah. So, you know, things are looking up. Things are good. Definitely. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? Or? No, mainly just if, any, you know, if anyone does want help. Yeah. Um, yeah, they feel like they want help, especially with alcoholism. Yeah. Um, or addiction. Yeah. You know, then absolutely, you know, get in touch. So I will be leaving links yeah. for you to contact me, and I can contact Liz. Yeah. And because share I, your I know information. absolutely because I know yeah. that I could never have gone into AA on my own. No, no chance. No. You know, I need somebody to be able to yeah. take me. And you know, some so. people haven't got that support. No, or, exactly. You no, know, and we will also leave the links for was it AA? Oh. AA, yeah, yeah, which is Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. yeah. CA, if you've got uh, drugs, yeah. you know, so CA, um, um, which is Cocaine Anonymous. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you very, very much You're for uh, the interview to help spread awareness of You're welcome. different conditions and illnesses. Hopefully, this has helped. I hope so. Um, any questions do leave comments down below and thank you for joining and remember if you'd like to help support Rara's Ventures please hit that subscribe button and we will see you very soon with more interviews take care lots of love bye thank you bye